What's going on everyone? It's Tyler here and I'm going to list and explain the three best outdoor antennas that I've found that work very well in three different scenarios. A little bit of background information about myself. I've been installing television antennas for about two years now in Pennsylvania. Probably about 30 to 40 installs over the last two years. It's not my main job, but it's a good side hustle that I like to do and I really like to help people get off cable and get TV the way it was supposed to be free over the air. Now throughout the years I probably tested out 20 different outdoor television antennas originally having a few of them saying oh this one's the best then getting another one saying oh this one does better and then Brad Craig getting another one saying oh this one does better for this scenario ultimately I found three that work very well. Now before I get into the actual antenna models I want to make something very clear that seems to be a trend with cord cutters throughout the country there's no such thing as an HD antenna so if you go on Amazon type in HD antenna you're probably going to see this model it's junk, you're going to see this model it's junk. There is no such thing as an HD antenna. There's VHF and UHF antennas that are designed to pick up certain frequencies. Sometimes there are UHF and VHF combo antennas which work best. But there are no antennas that are designed to get HD signals. They're either designed to get UHF, VHF high, or VHF low. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, VHF low is channels 2 through 6, VHF high is channels 7 through 13, and then UHF is channels 14 and above. Another thing that most people don't understand is most television stations aren't on the physical channel that they identify as. So for example, in my market we have ABC 16 WNEP. They are not on channel 16, they're on channel 15. Pretty much every station in my market is on a different frequency that was assigned to them by the FCC during the digital conversion and it doesn't match the signal that they were on, the channel that they were on before. So if you get let's say CBS 3 in your market in Philadelphia, it's not on channel 3 so don't look for a low VHF antenna. They're actually on UHF. Now a really good resource to figure out what television stations are available over the air at your specific location is to go to antennaweb.org, type in your address, and if you're installing on the roof, hit the little check mark that says will be installed above 25 feet, and it'll provide you a list of channels that should be available based on your address. Now keep in mind, antennaweb.org tends to overestimate the channels that are available, assuming that you have no idea what you're doing, you're not watching YouTube videos showing you what to do. So if you don't see any channels show up or you see some channels that are missing, um, they're probably still able to be picked up. You can confirm by going, you can find a more precise list of TV channels available at your address by going to tvfool.com, hitting signal analysis and typing in your address. I discovered that most channels towards the dark red will come in, but once they start fading to the gray, don't even bother. Those channels are pretty much out of range and you're not going to pick them up unless there's certain atmospheric conditions going on. Again, antennaweb.org does a good job kind of overestimating the channels you would get at your house. And then TV Fool kind of shows you what channels you'd get at your house. If you did a little fine tuning, tweaking with the antenna with a portable TV up there, kind of moving around saying, okay, I got to move it up like this. TV Fool will give you a list of channels that will probably come in that way. All right, now getting into the actual antenna models, this model, the Antennas Direct Clearstream 4V, does a really good job in most scenarios where you are within 60 to 70 miles of the broadcast towers. You see most if not all the stations show up on antennaweb.org and the stations in your market on, are either VHF high or UHF. In other words, the physical channel that they broadcast on are not on channels 2 through 6. They're on either 7 through 13 or 14 and above. And as I mentioned before, if you have like a CBS 3 and NBC 5 in your area, that doesn't necessarily mean they're on that physical RF channel. You can verify this by looking at antennaweb.org and seeing the RF channel they're on. The antenna is fairly compact, so it's good for those of you that don't want a large antenna on the roof, especially if you have a wife that's telling you, oh, I don't want that on my roof. This will work very well. Um, it's pretty reliable in most cases. It's very easy to mount. You can get a simple J-pole, put it on the trim of your roof, and before you know it, you're getting free HD channels. Keep in mind this antenna is directional, so you want to make sure that's pointed in the right direction of the broadcast towers, and you can see this on antennaweb.org, the exact direction the antenna should be pointed in. This antenna runs about $120 on either Best Buy or Amazon, and as I said, it does a really good job pulling in stations within 60, 70 miles if you're in flat terrain. 
This antenna model, the Channel Master CM4228HD, does a really good job for those of you in low-lying areas. Maybe you're surrounded by mountains and you're around 70 to 80 miles from the broadcast towers. This model does a really good job in pulling in most UHF stations and some VHF high stations. Now, although this model performs better than the one I had listed before, the problem with it is that it's larger. So a lot of people are saying, oh no, I don't want this big antenna on my roof. And on top of that, you also have to mount it a certain way. Either you have to use a chimney mount or you have to buy brackets and not just buy one and put a six foot pole that won't be stable. You gotta have at least two brackets on the side of the house holding a six to 10 foot pole. So that way when the wind blows, your antenna doesn't go knocking over. As I mentioned, this model will work for those of you that maybe don't care that it's a larger antenna that you'd want to spend a day project mounting it up there and in the long term have better reception than you would with a smaller antenna. This model runs for about $109 on Amazon, but keep in mind you'll also have to purchase a 4, 6, or 10 foot pole depending on how high you want to mount it, chimney straps, or side brackets with either a 12 or 18 inch standoff if you have a roof overhang. Finally, this model, the Channel Master CM3020, I have found does hands down one of the best jobs of an antenna you can get for VHF low, VHF high, and UHF reception. So in other words, any television station you're trying to pick up within 100 miles, this antenna has the best shot of picking up those stations compared to any other television antenna. Although I found this antenna model performs very well, it's not necessary in every case. If you're within 60 miles of broadcast towers and you don't want a really large antenna on your roof, look into the clear stream that I mentioned before. But if you're like me and you want to pull on as many television stations as possible, you don't mind there's an antenna on your roof, look into this model. This model does very well. And there's a reason you've seen a lot of television antennas on people's roofs that look a lot like it. it performs very well, and Channel Master has been around since the dawn of television television, so there's a reason they've been in business that long. This antenna runs for about $130 on Amazon, but keep in mind, like I mentioned with the other model, you will have to purchase some chimney straps or some side brackets and a mounting pole to securely mount it on the side of your house or on the chimney. Make sure it's up there well and doesn't come down as fast as you put it up. So these are the top three outdoor antennas I highly recommend for three different living situations. Now, since I install TV antennas, and I love everything about over-the-air television. If you have a question about what antenna I would recommend for your location, feel free to send me a message. Feel free to leave a comment. I will get back to you and tell you what antenna is good, what you should buy, and everything like that. As I said, I'm here to help you guys cut cable and get television the way it was supposed to be, free over the air. Thanks again for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel as I post more antenna updates, and have an awesome day.